In today's video, I bought a box of insane collectibles. What's up guys, we are back with another epic opening. In this video, we have a mixture of some pretty cool items, we have some Yu-Gi-Oh items, and we have some Pokemon sealed games that I purchased. I've opened the box just to see what it was, but I haven't actually opened it, looked at the stuff yet. So let's get right into that. First we have a giveaway, I'll be giving away these three cards, Flame Swordsman, that's a 2017 reprint, and a couple of QCRs. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know down below, what do you think about this collection? And let's get into it. All right, so first off, let's start off with, this is a pretty cool item. This was like a last second addition to the purchase. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this, but it's really cool. You guys gotta see this. So we have a Warner Brothers Yu-Gi-Oh! This is like, I think it's the movie? What do you even call this? It's like the, the film that they used for the movie. So, you know, I don't even know what you do with this. You, you just look at it, I guess. It's cool to have. I guess if we had a film camera, you could actually like see it, but it's pretty insane. I, this is from the original 2004 movie, I believe, if uh, I am correct about that, but we could try to do this. Let's see, pull it off like that maybe. Okay, let's see if, can you see anything in there? I don't know if you can see anything like this. Flat, sink, return. I don't know. I'm, I don't know. I'm just going to put it back. I don't know what I'm doing with this, but very cool item. This was not like, this was, we had already kind of agreed on a price and he's like, I also have this. And I was like, you know what? That's kind of cool. So I decided to pick it up as well. So if you guys know more about this, let me know. I'm definitely not an expert about this, this roll of film. Though I am a YouTuber, I don't really know much about film. I mean, I'm not going to lie. So we'll figure that sort of out later, but it's a pretty big roll. It's uh, very cool. So uh, cool stuff there. Yeah. Okay. The next thing you guys, I, I am a little bit more familiar with. This is a bundle of packs that I think he threw in. I don't think I actually bought these. I think he just threw in a few extra packs, which we will be opening in this video. So don't worry, guys. We will be doing some opening today. All right, looks like some 25th. Oh, that's fun. Okay, we like 25th anniversary. Oh, ho, ho, ho. LOB Blue Eyes White Dragon. That's pretty nice. Let's go ahead and add this to the giveaway. 25th anniversary Blue Eyes. I'm going to put that in there with the other cards. So you'll be getting four cards. I just dropped one of them. You'll be getting all four of these cards right here. So include that Blue Eyes White Dragon. Again, even more incentive to win the giveaway. So make sure you guys are subscribing to the channel because you know what happens at 250k. We're opening every pack ever made. It's going to be insane. Also check out Ruxon34.com if you want to support the channel. There will be a couple things from this video. We're going to open these later that will be on Ruxon34.com. So we'll see those in a minute. All right. I think we have a couple of them here. Yeah. These are going to be listed on Ruxon34.com. We have some LLB 25th anniversary boxes. I believe there are five of these in here. So these are going to be going up on the website. These boxes have gotten pretty expensive already. I mean, I do feel pretty good about an LLB reprint in a booster box, like for the future, just having some of these sealed. I personally have a few that I'm not selling right now because I feel pretty good that, you know, in the future, people are going to want an LOB box and it's a much cheaper version than buying a real original unlimited real that's the wrong word original unlimited or a first dead because those are still really expensive even in this market so uh here are the other two I'm not I mean I don't necessarily need to pull all these out for you guys but that's just three more uh, LOB 25th anniversary boxes. So those will be available on Ruxon34.com. If you guys want to go grab those, support the channel. Appreciate you guys doing that. All right, let's keep it going. Let's see what else we got. All right, now we're getting into some of the, uh, the sealed Pokemon games that I bought. I have a collection of just Pokemon games in general, and I would like to eventually get all complete in box games. That's going to be tough because they are, some of them are very expensive. We picked up a few expensive ones this time. So here is a pretty cool one. This is the Soul Silver version with the big box there's two different boxes for soul silver a lot of you guys probably remember soul silver i mean it's pretty classic a re what do they call it not a reprint but like a the where they updated the game why can't i remember the name of that the uh re-release is not a re-release because they update how do you open this thing remake wow that seems pretty obvious i don't know how that took me that long to remember that okay let's get this thing out i have this game already in the little box i don't have the polka walker or anything and that can add some value to this thing. If I can get this thing out of this box, it'd be great. Wow, this has some cool texture to it. I never knew that. I'm, I didn't even know about the big box because when I originally got it, it was years after this came out because I was not playing Pokemon in 2010 when this was first released. So let's open this thing up. Let's see what's inside. Inside is like a brand new game, essentially. It's not brand new, but it's like it's brand new because, you know, you get everything. I think there's a clip missing. That's like the one thing missing that you're supposed to clip the Pokewalker to. Then you have the actual, you know, case. This is the one I kind of had. This thing looks really nice. I don't almost looks like it's never been uh opened or anything i do have like this whole thing myself i don't know if i had the full manual though i think i had one of the little ones 
There's the game. Game itself definitely was used. That's for sure. Game itself saw some wear and tear. That's a good sign. That means somebody liked it. Not necessarily, you know, incredible like for condition, but you know, it's good that somebody used it. Okay, let's uh, put this back in the box. So overall, that that's a fan favorite game right there. So that's really, really cool. Also, I know this is not Yu-Gi-Oh! Some of this is not Yu-Gi-Oh! But I know a lot of you guys appreciate and collect this stuff. So I'm going to show... I'm just figured I'd show it off. This is a pretty big purchase. We have the Ultra Moon. So Ultra Moon has a sticker on it. That's kind of unfortunate. Maybe I can get that off. We'll have to see. Ultra Moon from GameStop, it looks like. Not a crazy expensive one or anything. Very cool. I definitely didn't have the box of Ultra Moon. We have Pokemon Sun. I have Moon, I believe. So this will mean I have both of these. I'll go through and actually look inside after, you know, on these, these smaller ones. Then there is a Pokemon Y. I actually have a sealed Pokemon Y because they're not that crazy expensive right now. 1226, 2022. Is that one that came out? That's pretty new. That makes sense that they're that cheap. No, wait, X and Y? 12. Maybe that's the year, 2012. No, is that right? They're, no, they're not that old. Maybe that's just when the purchase was or something. Yeah, because X and Y are a lot older. They're like, they came out in what, 13, 14, something like that? I don't remember. Yeah, definitely not 2022. That's way too new. Okay, very cool looking. Wait, Mega Mewtwo? Kind of gets the little cameo. Pokemon X. I do have this one, I think. But I was like, you know what? I'll pick up both of them. Very cool. Alpha Sapphire, another cool one. So it looks like he purchased some of these at the same time. I think that's what that is. Because Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire both have that sticker. Really cool games. I mean, I, I personally really like these. I thought they were good remakes. I thought they were pretty fun. I just really like Mega Pokemon. So I thought it was pretty solid. And if you guys want to see me play Pokemon, go check out Pokerox. We haven't uploaded in a couple months, but I usually do... a a few videos over there a year playing different nuzlocke runs and stuff like that so go check out poker rocks if you haven't already all right the next one let's see what we got this is pretty cool we have we pikachu's adventures i've never even seen this game before so this is pretty pretty fun i wonder how old it is it's an original wii so it's got to be pretty old it's basically gen 1 through gen 4 is what it looks like I, do i see anybody past gen 4 gen 1 gen 4 gen 4 gen 1 Four, mate. I think that's four. Four, one. Who's that back there? Oh, that's a, okay. Yeah, four. Uh, Shaman's four, I think. That's three, th two, four, two. So yeah, it looks like that's one through four. Uh, that would that would make sense. That's like 2007. Is there a copyright date on this thing? At 2010. Okay. So this would have been around when the next release was black and white, but maybe like right before. So that's pretty cool. The Poke Park Wii Pikachu's Adventure. Awesome. Then we get into some big heavy hitters. We have Pokemon XD Gale of, Gar Gale, Gale of Darkness. I cannot speak. Nintendo GameCube. Very awesome. E for everyone. Check it out. Really cool games. I actually need to play through these at some point. I've been meaning to do this. The Twitch chat has been calling for me to play through these. Maybe I will do that very soon. This is, I mean, I think they're all double battles in this. In Coliseum, right? I think that's correct. Which is the one when you start with the Eevees? Is it this one? Or is it the other one? I can't remember. But very, very cool. Awesome looking cover. I mean, the dark. Dark, darkness Lugia, what is he called? I need to play it so I actually know, but they all have like the dark form. Very awesome. Very, that's just really, really awesome. And speaking of Coliseum, we also have that with the bonus disc inside. So a very cool Nintendo GameCube bonus get, uh, disc special gift Jirachi. I wish that would still work. That'd be pretty cool. Very awesome game. These, I mean, these are a couple hundred bucks, even complete unbox these, uh, these last couple. So they're very, very expensive. And very, very cool. All right, the last, uh, we still have several games left, but then we will go to the opening. This one fits with the earlier opening. We have a Pokemon Hard Gold version. This one does not have the full box or anything, but I did not even own Hard Gold. So this is really, man, these are so beautiful. Pokemon just, they just know how to make product. Like their games look incredible. They look awesome. They're, I mean, whether you like them or not, I mean, they have had a lot of success. I love the, the Pokemon games, at least most of them. And oh my goodness, that's so cool. The Pokemon Heart Gold, that's gonna be super awesome. I wanna display some of them back here. You know, we've added some stuff. I'm moving, I'm trying to figure out how I wanna do this display. Uh, we obviously have the Pequeno Moth that you guys have seen recently. I don't know. I, I'm going to do some boxes, maybe some Pokemon games. You know, it doesn't really matter because you don't see that most of the time, but maybe I will, I might even update the plushy shelf with some games. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. All right. Let's go to the next one, which is Pokemon Y2. Another one I don't own. Well, I do now. But uh, two powers arise. A new legend arises. Combine a new legend arises. So originally, I didn't like Pokemon Black and White when I first played them. I was like, ah, these just, they don't feel the same as the other games. And the more I've played them, the more I'm like, these games are really awesome. I like love them. So 
Uh, they're super cool. The cool part about black and white too is there's like a difficulty mode. Like, but the stupid part is you had to beat the game first to change it. But the cool part was you have actual difficulty. And then that last, I don't remember what this is called, but there's kind of like a battle. It's sort of like a battle tower style thing. I think it's in black and white too. And uh, it's actually really fun. You face a lot of like the old gym leaders and stuff. And it's pretty challenging that I remember. I haven't done it in a long time, but when I did it, it was very enjoyable. Speaking of black too, we also have Pokemon black too. So, yeah, we have uh, both white and black, too. Do I have? I think I have black, too. I bought black, too, right before this. So now I have two black, too. I don't know if I'm going to keep two. I might sell it or try to trade it for one I don't have or something like that. But we'll see which one's in better shape. Or maybe I'll keep two because I have been known to hoard Pokemon games. Not in complete in box, but just like the cartridges. I have like four and five copies of some of the old ones. Just because when I was younger, right out of high school, I started buying those for $15, $20 per cartridge for like gold, silver, red, blue, all those different ones. And if I saw them for 15 bucks, I would pick them up every time. I think at 20 might have been my max that I would buy them at. If there were more than that, I just passed. But I spent a lot of time buying those. And uh, so now I'm really in, you know, I'm still kind of into it. One of my favorite collections besides Yu-Gi-Oh! is collecting the Pokemon games. And then we have Pokemon White right here. I don't remember if I had, I might have had a loose copy of White because I, I bought Pokemon Black for myself. I don't remember exactly which I have. At some point, I will make a video, put it on like Twitter of my entire collection and including this Pokemon white. We can actually open this one up easily. So let's take a look. So yeah, we've got all the different stuff in there from back in 2010, I think. Yeah, here we go. Oh, 2011 is what it seems like. Pokemon white, that, that looks like a really nice cartridge actually. And uh, okay, that's so what I guess there's no black in this collection. I can't remember what was in there. This one though is insane. Platinum version is probably one of my favorite games. The thing I hate about it is, is Gen 4 ran really slowly on the DS. That was what kind of sucked about it, but they're, these games are really fun. They're super cool. What's the thing called? The shiny hunting thing where you go around. I I really enjoyed I really enjoyed doing the shiny hunting. Uh, I actually caught a shiny Shinx recently using, what is it called? The chaining method? It's called like the pokey... Radar, Pokey Radar. There we go. Yeah, that is super fun. I caught a shiny Shinx doing that for the first time just a few weeks ago. Very, very fun game. Very awesome. Very old. Okay, two, three more. Three more. The next two, you can probably guess these. We have Pokemon Pearl, which I just picked up actually at Collecticon. I think this purchase happened because I showed that I picked up the Pearl. He was like, hey, I also have Pokemon Pearl. These are often faked. Uh, so if this is fake, let me know. <laughs> but uh, I, this guy's a pretty big Pokemon collector. So he probably knows even more than me that I'm buying from. So I I don't think they are. We'll, we'll double check them. But I know, I remember specifically these Gen 4 being an absolute pain in the butt. Because I did buy these one time and they were fake. So then I had to return them. The guy didn't want to do a return. It was some weird platform that I bought them on too. It might have been like, I don't remember. I don't, I don't remember. But I think I ended up getting a refund, fun, but it was a huge pain. The guy like ghosted me when I told him I thought they were fake because they were fake. Then we have Diamond. This is one I do not have. That, man, we have the full Gen 4 now. That is so cool. Diamond version. I mean, from what I can tell, it looks authentic. I'm trying to remember the signs. I haven't done research into this in like five years. I, it has something to do with, you know, just looking just looking quality, you know. Uh, Okay, that one has that. Doesn't have anything else. The full manual, the diamond cartridge. Super cool. I mean, that is awesome. Not perfect condition or anything. There's some little specs, but I don't really care. It's not like I'm going to grade these in, you know, at whatever the grading places are called for games, but I am excited. All right, the final game, then we'll do a little opening. Uh, This is the big one. This is a really, really nice one. It also comes with an acrylic case. This is pretty cool. We have Pokemon Emerald, and yeah, Pokemon Emerald is crazy big, even complete in box. I think it was valued at like $600 or something crazy. He did give me a little discount on all these as well, so I didn't have to pay $600, thankfully, but I'd still paid a lot. So let's take a look at this one because it's not in amazing shape, I don't think. Let's, how do you get this out? This one's probably going to go in the background, honestly, if I can get it out of here. All right, that was not the easiest to, to get out of that box. All right, so the box itself, definitely seen better days, I would say. It's not horrible, horrible. Like, the front looks pretty good. I mean, that's really, really pretty. But, it, you know, it's not perfect or anything. Let's see. Let's take a look at everything. Torchic. I mean, this is one of the greatest Pokemon games ever made. Pokemon Emerald. I mean, pretty much every ROM hack is now based on Generation 3, like, Emerald, because it was so good. And then you just, like, kind of add some other cool stuff in there. But, like, the game itself was really really i feel like ahead of its time for what it was all right let's see 2005 is when it released so here's the pokemon emerald just the raw copy of these like 200 bucks so that's why like the completed box is so nuts i actually have one of these that i found in like i was moving and i had one of these i guess someone sent them to me or something it's like 40 dollars for the manual i was like that's pretty cool actually 
It's got this. It's got all the little... What is this? This, this turns into like a... Oh, it turns into a picture of the big three. We got to look at it. Yeah, we got to take a look at this. So we got Rayquaza. We've got the Kyogre, the Groudon. The balance of power is shifted. Then at the bottom, what are they selling? They're selling... Ruby and Sapphire don't have those. I once had a sealed ruby, sold it for like 300 bucks. Big, big sad. Check out the hit TV show. Ash was still around back then. Watch full color video on your Game Boy Advance. Oh, that's okay. That's weird. Catch all new movie available. Okay. Become Pokemon Dash. And then, ooh, Fire Red Leaf Green. That's one that I need to get my hands on. I don't even have Leaf Green. And that was the game I owned back in the day. So I really need to get one, that one at some point. Very cool. So the, the complete inbox, they don't really fit together as well as like the DSs and stuff because they have actual spots to do that oh plays all game boy games folding yeah dude the game boy advance heck yeah get one of those it was sick so this is a very exciting purchase obviously some of these are really really popular really big really expensive and uh i'm very happy to add them to my collection of games this one will be added to the background i think the emerald version maybe some other pokemon games we'll see okay let's do a quick opening i know this video is kind of long thank you guys for hanging around i know it's not really uh mostly Yu-Gi-Oh. there is some Yu-Gi-Oh involved but uh, I had to show you guys those. I mean, there's some really cool items. I'm really excited about it. Wing Weaver. Let's pull a Genzo real quick. Cold Wave, Gust, Twin and Fire Dragon, Force Requisition, and an Earth Shaker. I had to do it. Had to do it. Had to check out the stuff. I'm very excited because, like, I do want to get, I want to get every game in general, and then if I can get them complete in box, it'd be even crazier. But I, really, the goal is every game in general first, and then we can deal with complete in box. But this is a big, okay, there we go. Man Eater Bug. Very nice. This is a big step toward having them all, honestly, because that's a lot of complete in box games though some are missing a couple things or whatever but very very cool okay why am i opening two lob in a row big mistake we have drilling lizard we have violet crystal karama enchanting mermaid trial of a nightmare the machine conversion factory let's get something crazy trubin and the 13th grave okay invasion of chaos let's go hopefully you guys have been enjoying the videos recently this is definitely a change up for what we've been doing but uh, i think we've had a pretty cool variety a lot of new stuff a lot of old stuff we've done some wheeled goat uh, you know, maybe we'll do something else different as well if you guys want to see. If you guys ever have suggestions for something you want to see in the videos, not guaranteeing I'll do it, but it would be cool to see them. One, two, three from the back. We have, of course, a sanctuary. Fairy's hand mirror. Crab turtle. Peacock. October, sir. Boar soldier. Commencement dance. Giant rat. And molten destruction. Let's do another Pharaoh's servant. See if we can pull that Jinzo. One, two, three. We have Dokuro Yaiba. Metal of the Sector. Kistai, that little finger. Watch out, we have Cyber Falcon. Shadow of Eyes, Reign of Mercy, Inspection, Skull Invitation, and a Flying Kamikiri number two. Invasion of Chaos, a great set, a very powerful set. Very strong in Wheeled Goat. Three from the back, we have Self Destruct Button, Recycle. Gale Lazard, Stealth Bird, Raikoki, Witch Doctor of Chaos, Chopman, the Desperate Outlaw. Hiya! Drilago, and a Sacred Crane. Do not feel the pain. Now, Spell Ruler. Five packs left to be opened. I think we had 12 total, three of each. Not too bad. If you guys want to grab some of those LOB boxes or anything else from me, check out Ruxin34.com and uh, support the channel by buying stuff there. Uh, also, if you do buy stuff on Ruxin34.com, Shining Angel, Rising Air Current, keep, make sure that you uh, check your emails and stuff like that because anytime something like, I need to contact you, I'm going to use your email that you put on there, a lot of times it'll go to spam and it's really frustrating. I don't know why it sends my emails to spam sometimes. So keep an eye out, Oni Tank Rex 34. Like, let's say I email you or you make an order and it's been like a week and you haven't heard anything about it. There might be a spam email. You might want to check it out. I might be reaching out about your order, something that I need to clarify before I ship it. Oh, limited removal, super rare. Uh, and a lot of times just people don't know. And like I'm emailing and emailing and emailing and eventually they get one like a month later. And it's because I don't want to send like certain orders for certain reasons unless like I can confirm with you and stuff. So that happens. We have Neobug, Soul Absorption, Hero Emerges, Dawn Turtle, Compulse, and Tower of Babel. What was it, only two foils so far? Not great, not great. Let's try Spell Ruler. And don't forget to subscribe because we are making our way to 250. It's gonna be crazy. We have gotten, I think I have four or five videos ready out of the seven. So it's gonna be crazy. We're gonna have a seven video, 250K special, Dark Witch, we have Stone Ogre Grotto, Horn of the Unicorn, and Griggle. The Griggle, last pack magic, LOB. I opened the, very, the two at the very beginning. We saved this one because there's a blue eyes inside. Let's go. And speaking of blue eyes, we're giving one away in this video. So make sure you enter the giveaway by leaving a comment down below. 
Last pack magic. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. A little bit of a different one. Let me know what you think down below. Here we go. Mountain, we have Dragon Treasure. Green Phantom King. Dark World Thorn. Skull Servant. Vile Germs. Silver Fang. Stop Defense. And... Dark energy. Okay, I'm feeling some dark energy after that one. That's okay. Not too bad. Those are free packs anyway. So I want to shout out his Instagram name who sold me this. I think it's LV Collectibles or something like that. He also does Yu Gi Oh! as a polymerization Instagram sign. I can't, I'll pop it up on the screen, but shout out to him for selling me this collection and uh, sending some free packs. It's pretty awesome. Shout out to Toe Info Show, Anesto Deanna, America Deutscher, Brandon Chaney, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F. Chengalang, and Aldelsa Garcia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.